Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here, and today I welcome you guys to the first MOA Monday series episode 1. So, this commentary is also going to go on M. Man Kano's channel. So, uh, he is, well actually I'm a director for him, and uh, if you guys want to go check out his channel, there will be a link in the description to his channel. And uh, maybe hit him up with a sub. He has 15k subscribers. And if you guys want to become a director for his channel, just send him a personal message and he'll probably respond. So, anyways, back to the Moab Monday. Um, each Monday, I'll be uploading a new gameplay, getting me getting the Moab, and probably, well, no, definitely with a new gun. Yeah, every single Monday and uh, hopefully on a different map every single Monday and uh, throughout the whole series I'll be talking about my tips and tricks well actually I'll give you guys tips and tricks on how to get a Moab easily and uh, I'll be talking about my class setup and uh, my moves during the game like my decisions why I went there or why I decided to stay and uh, stuff like that so I'll be helping you guys out to maybe have a more better understanding of the game and uh, it's not always good to rush out and uh, get some kills and then just die because let's say you rush out you get five kills but then you die I mean it's going nowhere because uh, Moab is still 25 kills uh, with your gun without kill streaks and uh, if you uh, have hardline it's 24 but even though guys if you just rush out get five kills and die I mean you're not going anywhere for getting the Moab now if you guys want to have an interesting gameplay I mean that's a great way to go by having five kills and dying and uh, if you can even get more than five kills and then dying that's even great but now let's talk about my class that I'm using in this gameplay so first things first uh, I'm using the ACR with uh, silencer and uh, I'm actually playing some domination on underground and it was also groundward game mode so uh, I know a lot of people get moabs on free-for-all and uh, I haven't actually played a lot of free-for-all since I got MW3 because uh, usually all I do is play ground war just for the simple fact that you get more kills and uh, it's a very uh, faster game type because uh, let's say in free-for-all you just like there's only uh, 8 or 12 guys uh, I don't even know but anyways there's not enough action for me but uh, it's way easier to get a MOAB in free-for-all just because there's less people and it's a less fast-paced game so I mean you have more time to sit down and camp in order to get your kills and build up for your MOAB and uh, compared to ground war especially because ground war there might be a guy to your right to your left behind you in front of you and especially with the teams being nine to nine and in free-for-all if there's only eight people in total or twelve like I said I don't remember um, but anyways so there's less chance you die from your side or from uh, or from your back and so just for the simple fact I'm saying this all just because free-for-all is a better game type to get a MOAB now it can also happen that you get a MOAB in ground war uh, I really enjoy getting MOABs in ground war just for the simple fact that it's more entertaining for you guys to watch because I'm getting more kills faster and uh, it's just more entertaining to watch uh, in my opinion compared to just like camping in a free-for-all game and waiting for them to come to you now I just want to talk a bit about my class that I was using in this gameplay so I was using the ACR with silencer and silencer it has to be on your gun now a silencer is very important just for the simple fact that you won't appear as a red dot on your enemy's radar so let's say you're behind the enemy line and you're rushing and then you start shooting one guy and then you don't have a silencer on you'll appear as a red dot on your enemy's radar and then you'll probably die because the enemies will know where you where you're at and uh, you won't know where they are so a silencer um, avoids being seen on the radar and I don't know if you guys tend to do that but I sure do when I spawn I always look at my minimap to see where the enemies are and where the gunfights are being held at just for the simple fact that that helps me where I should move and it tells me like where to go and where not to go and where my teammates are and when where are my enemies so a silencer is very very recommended for going for the high kill streaks especially going for the moab um, and so yeah so I would really recommend you guys using the silencer attachment 
Now, if you guys know, uh, the Moab is 25 kills with your gun only. So kill streaks or point streaks, I should say, um, don't go towards your Moab. So let's say you get an AC-130 and you get 10 kills with it. It those 10 kills you got with your AC-130 won't go towards your Moab. So it's all gun kills. You have to get 25 gun kills to get the Moab, or 24 if you're using Hardline, like I am in this gameplay. All right, so now I want to talk a bit about the perks I was using in this gameplay. So first things first, I was using Sleight of Hand Pro. Um, doesn't matter if it's pro or not, but I had the pro edition. But anyways, I was used inside of hand pro, uh, just for the simple fact that I love it. It's my perk that I run in every single class. I, I've always used Slide of Hand. It really helps you out when you're like two kills away from your Moab and you're stressing out. Um, you have the ability to aim faster and reload faster. It really, really helps you out. Well, it really helps me out. And then my second perk uh, was Hardline Pro. Uh, Hardline Pro is really really good if you guys only have Hardline I would really recommend you guys to go get Hardline Pro um, Hardline Pro what it does is that when you get two assists it counts for one kill so then you can build up your kill streaks way faster and especially if you tend to get a lot of assists it's very good to have Hardline Pro on and also instead of being 25 kills it's 24 kills for the Moab and uh, one kill is a, it doesn't seem big but it's very big when you're at 24 and you only need one more kill and then you die you'll be very mad if you didn't have Hardline Pro and you died at 24 kills and also that my uh, last perk my third perk I'm pretty sure it was Steady Aim Pro I'm not too sure but I'm pretty sure it was Steady Aim Pro and uh, now I want to talk about the specialist package I was using. So, like I stated earlier, uh, kill streaks don't go towards your Moab uh, kill streak. So there's pretty much no point of using any kill streaks or point streaks, I should say. And so that's why I was using the specialist package. So the specialist package is very good, just for the simple fact that you pretty much, when you get seven kills and you get all the bonuses, you get all the perks and all the proficiencies for your weapon. So you're pretty much invincible. So you should win the most of your gunfights. And even though an enemy is shooting at first, you should be able to drop shot him and finish him, finish him off before he has a t time to kill you. Now, uh, I want to go in order in my uh, specialist package because it's really important, so listen up, guys. Um, first thing, when you get one kill, you really, really want to have Quick Draw Pro because your second perk, your main second perk, um, is Hardline. So you don't have Quick Draw Pro, so you can't move as quick as if you had Quick Draw Pro. So the first kill you get is really good to have Quick Draw Pro. Now, uh, when you get three kills uh, it's uh, very good well it's not very good but it's my my choice I guess I decided to have assassin um, assassin is very good because uh, when an enemy calls in a radar or a UAV I should say um, it, it, you won't appear on their mini map so that's awesome because you can sneak up behind them and have the ability to kill them uh, without them knowing your position and also that after that my second my well my last um my last perk on my specialist package was scavenger scavenger pretty basic uh after five kills you tend to run out of ammo especially if you're like spring um anyways you really want to have scavenger to get more magazines and instead of like running around the map and trying to pick up a gun because trust me that'll get you killed so you really want to have scavenger now this gameplay is coming down to an end here uh, you guys saw me calling the Moab maybe like two seconds ago so uh, after you call in the Moab by the way it's double XP for the whole entire game so as soon as you get it I would really recommend you guys calling it in as soon as possible and uh, right there we lost 200 to 109 uh, like I said, you can't win every single gameplay you guys play. So um, it, if we had a better team, and uh, if I would have met, if I would have went more for the objective, we could have won. But I was going more for the kills to get a Moab gameplay for you guys. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave me a like or comment, and I'll be sure to catch you guys on later this week. Peace out.